Well, cha cha, my friends. Dobro utro to you. Good morning. Charles here, dual passport holder, Serbian and American, of course. I'm very proud. I'm proud to be both of two fine countries that are very different, yet very beautiful. And just, it feels good to be part of both of them, you know? I spend my October through, typically through May in this country, and May through October, typically in this country. That's my life. It's not for everybody, but it's mine, and I love it. Um, anyway, today we're going to talk about something everybody is talking about. Um, Everybody always makes fun of the way I say everybody. When I try to say everybody, it sounds like everybody, everybody. Anyway, doesn't matter. That's the way I speak. Um, everybody is ta everybody is talking about this third rate horrid actress who's been living in her sister's shadow uh, for the longest time. You got to feel for this woman. Uh, her name is Elizabeth Olsen, uh, and she is a couple years younger than those two cute. If you're my age, you remember the Olsen twins. Probably, if you're 40, in your 40s, you probably remember those two cute little girls uh, that were in Full House. Do you ever, you remember that comedy? It was from like, what, I'd say Full House was like mid-80s to early 90s. It was around probably about 10-ish years. I don't know. Uh, but those two little twin girls, that was the Olsen twins. And they've had many opportunities. They're still pretty. They're in their 30s now, mid-30s. And then they have a sister who's never been able to live up to their fame and, and fortune, uh, who's never been given many opportunities. Uh, she was given an opportunity in 2013 uh, a lead role in a movie called In Secrets uh, that was shot where? Serbia. <laughs> she was in Serbia. She said she was there for, what did she say? Uh, let's see. Let's just go see what she said. She'll tell us what she thought of her time in Serbia. And we'll see what this third-rate actress has to say. Did she love it? Did she not like it? Let's see. Okay, this is the movie that she shot, 2013. She played the part, who did she play? Of this character right there. Okay, 2013, that's the name of the movie. She was in Serbia, but anyhow, she was on the Today Show. This happened in 2020, but it's just now out uh, for some reason, just now on, uh, just now in the news. But listen to what she had to say. Did the, shot in Serbia, right? Yeah, that's you're an interesting not a fan. Location. No one needs to go there. No. I'm sorry, but <laughs> I, 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 I do <laughs> we have millions of Serbians who watch us every day. They are, Thank yeah, you. they're watching us right now. <laughs> do, do I? I we worked six day weeks, so I only okay. was out on Sundays. But it's a very interesting place because there's nothing really uniquely Serbian because <laughs> they've only been their own country for, for about thirteen time, sure. years or so. <laughs> so they're really. Information of everyone years. who has who has taken over their how many people have land. been able to take them over? Unreal. You believe that? Here we go. In fact, there is nothing unique, unique Serbian, because they are an independent country for only thirteen years. Where does she get this? 13 years. Maybe she's thinking something along the lines of Kosovo Matoya, who declared their independence in 2008, uh, that have still not been recognized as an independent entity. You've got to be kidding me. You know? Unbelievable. 
let's just look here how long Serbia has been around, okay? Serbians date back from the Vincha period, which is in the prehistoric times, okay? The Paleo-Balkans in the first millennia BC. Lepinski Vir, beautiful place to go if you get a chance. I was there. There's evidence of... Uh, civilization here on Serbia uh, there in Serbia from around 7000 BC do you are, are you seeing this Vinci culture 4000 to 4500 years BC in Serbian soil but they've only been they've only been a country for 13 years she said Roman era numerous Roman emperors, I forget what they say, what is it, 12, 13 Roman emperors, including Roman emperor Constantine, was born on Serbian soil in the Middle Ages. Then you had, let's skip down to this. Where are we now? I'm trying to read through here. This is when the Ottomans took over. Okay, yeah, we, we, let's back up just a hair here. Okay, to the times of the founding of the Serbian Orthodox Church and the Serbian Empire. Uh, ba, 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 that was in Stefan Namanya times. Yeah, in 1190, 1166, Stefan Namanya assumed the throne, beginning of a prospering Serbia. Okay. You had the Battle of Kosovo, which was in 1389. Then the Ottomans took over. The Serbians had uprising after uprising of the Ottomans. I hope this is coming in. It's kind of blurry, I believe. You had numerous countries tried to invade. The Turks were there for many, many years. Yes, true. And they do have some words that are Turkish. They have burek, things such as that. And then we go Serbian Revolution and the Autonomous Principality. Serbia gained its autonomy from the Ottoman Empire in two uprisings, 1804. And Turkish troops continued to garrison the capital Belgrade until 1867. Principality of Serbia is granted blah, blah, blah. De facto independence from the Ottoman Empire. Ah, Principality Kingdom of Serbia, 1878 to 1918. Uh, ba, 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 the Russo-Turkish War. Obrinovic and Karadjordjevic families were having a rivalry there. During the Revolution of 1848, the Serbs in Austria proclaimed Serbian autonomous province known as Vojvodina. In 1865... Blah, blah, blah. Let's skip down. Serbia in World War I. This is where they were trying to be um, occupied by the Austro-Hungarians, okay? So did, they, did the Austro-Hungarians win? No. Serbians kept them out after losing a massive percentage of the male population. Then from 1918 to 1941, it was known as the Kingdom of Serbia, Croats, and Slovenes. Then you had World War II, which the Serbs lost a lot, another massive chunk of their population to the Germans. And the Ustashe next door, and those others who backed the Nazis, okay? Then it turned into Yugoslavia. <laughs> Serbia as a federal unit. Okay, part of the Socialist Republic, former Yugoslav, Republic of Yugoslavia, Serbia and Montenegro from 1992 to 2006. Democratic transition, independent Serbia, 2006 to the present. Okay, is this what she's referring to? Serbia has been around for a long, long time. And look at this, okay? Now back to this numb nut. I, I can't believe we're giving her this much time of day. I was in Serbia. They have no manners and nothing of their own, okay? This is another comment she had made in a previous article. 
she said that her father came over and they were screening that movie. Uh, she wouldn't recommend it to anybody. She said there's nothing unique. She said, here, look at this. Serbs have no manners. They talk nonstop. And then the worst part are these hosts, okay? Hoda, here on the Today Show. This is NBC. This gal... Did the, they shot in Serbia. Her, okay? This is Kathy Lee Gifford. But this lady's name is Hoda. She's Egyptian, okay? And listen to them giggle here. Yeah, you're not a fan. You're not a fan. No one needs to go there. Oh, sorry. I really have millions of Serbians who watch us every day. Thank you. Yeah, they're watching us. You know what? Let me turn this camera around. (laughs) Okay. So, the part I find most inappropriate here Sure, it's, it's, it's all well and good to be able to have your opinion, okay? To have an opinion about a country. But in this day and age, the day of cancel culture, uh, the days of political correctness, is this appropriate? And those pushing this political correctness onto all of us are hosts Typically, hosts like them on the Today Show on NBC, Hoda, Kathy Lee Gifford, they are constantly discussing uh, Black uh, Black Lives Matter, the Asian hate, uh, anti uh, anti Semitism, etc. All of these things. But who laughs when somebody disrespects an entire nation? Them two. Hoda is Egyptian. What would she do if this girl here would have said that about Egypt? Or Egyptians? They're not polite. They're rude. They talk all the time. You can't say that. So, this third-rate actress, who cares what she thinks? Okay, firstly, it doesn't matter. She doesn't matter here. The problem I see is the Today Show laughing uh, provoking her to say negative things. They even start out with the, did you hear that snide remark? You're not a fan, are you? This was shot in Serbia. You're not a fan, are you? This was, you know, uh, started by them two, right? Such a double standard here, in my opinion. Uh, if this would have been about any other country, this would have made headlines. What if, just think of this, what if Elizabeth would have went to Israel and shot something in Israel, she came back here on the Today Show, and they would have said, so you shot this in Israel, and she said, oh, never go there, there's nothing uniquely Israeli. Okay, just think about that for a few seconds while I take a sip of coffee. What would have happened then? The whole world would have went nuts. That would have made headlines on CNN and all these other Israeli-owned media outlets. The whole world would have heard about it. She would have been treated like Mel Gibson has been treated and some of those others who have made snide little remarks about Israel uh, at some point in their career. But she, the hosts just laugh. Ha <laughs> ha! We have millions of Serbians watching this every day. <laughs> what if she would have said something about Muslims? What would have Hoda have said? Because Hoda's an Egyptian, you know? Such a double standard. That's the part that just blows me away here. And it really pisses me off here. I am a Serbian. I'm proud of my country. When she says this country is only 13 years old, they have nothing uniquely Serbian. What is she saying about us here? You saw that. They've had civilizations, functioning civilizations, for thousands of years B.C. They fought off invaders, my people. I don't have blood, but I'm a proud citizen of Serbia, so I can say my people have fought off so many big, massive 
uh, empire, armies uh, that tried to take over this little spot of soil that Serbia occupies. Uh, and nobody has ever been uh, successful, right? You could say. So just unbelievable that they let her get away with this. And if, if Serbia has nothing uniquely Serbian, what about us? She was born in Palm Springs, uh, Sherman Oaks, California, okay? She goes to Serbia for however long. How long did she say she was there? I can't even hardly listen to her. For four months. She only went out on Sundays. Yet she never bothered to learn that Serbia has been around for longer than 13 years. Uh -huh. And that they have nothing uniquely Serbian. I think there's so many things that are uniquely Serbian. The Slava pops into my head firstly. You know, things like that. What do we have in the USA that's uniquely American? If you're going to say that, you know, where were we uh, in, 11, six, in, in the 11, 1100s? When did we first come to the USA? When, when did the, the USA supposedly was first discovered Christopher Columbus supposedly first stumbled upon it in 1492 while you guys were already there functioning in a civilized society you know unbelievable they let her get away with this absolute disgrace to NBC and all of them every other day on Spotify every morning I play NBC news late nightly news and they always have something about discrimination or how somebody's doing something that they shouldn't something that's not politically correct and they're the ones provoking this if this would about would have been, if she would have said that about any other country it would have made headlines but it's okay to say it about Serbia it seems that that's an ongoing thing who is that other um, I should have looked this up. Who was that other talk show host? Just a low-rate uh, talk show host that insulted Serbia a few years back. What was it she had said about them? Something really just horrid. Uh, what the hell was her name? I don't even know. I've never watched her show, but I remember seeing that a few years ago, and that's okay. You know? Everything's all right if it's Serbia. <laughs> but Israel? <gasps> oh, how dare you? How can you say that? You know? Unbelievable. Massive double standard. NBC needs to apologize. Kathy Lee Gifford needs to apologize. Hoda needs to apologize and realize that she would have been equally as pissed and, and humiliated had this third-rate actress said something negative about Egypt or Muslims. Okay? Just the way it is. Ciao, ciao.